Hey everyone, it's me, El Monet 006, and I'm here with Miss Jalia. Oops, let me get it on her better. Say hi. <laughs> hi. Say hi. Anyways, you guys, I realized that I needed to record her six month update. Y'all, I have been super, like, I have been so busy, it's not even funny. But I needed to go ahead and get this recorded because she turned six months on the 26th of January. And I wanted to wait until after her um, six month appointment, which was on the 4th. And now it's the 7th, so I really needed to get this done. And I am recording from my phone, so forgive me if I'm looking everywhere. i got to get used to looking at the camera. Um... I'm recording on my phone because all of my batteries are, for my camera are charging because I want to be able to vlog Christian's one year birthday party tomorrow. Yes, he turned one yesterday. So that was exciting. But anyways, on with Julia's update. She is now crawling. She gets around really, really well. And one thing that I found find very weird is I have been seeing mostly that most babies sit up on their own fully before they start to crawl. And Julia is not quite sitting up on her own fully. She can sit up on her own for um, a short amount of time, but she she falls over. But she's crawling, so I don't know why that's different. From, well, I know every baby isn't the same, so. But her pediatrician says that as long as she's sitting up fully unassisted on her own by seven months, he's not worried. Um... She grabs things really well. She holds her bottle. She tries to grab the spoon when I feed her. Like, she's doing really well as far as developmental-wise. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, baby? <laughs> um, she's calling, sleeping. Um, we're working on transitioning her from her bassinet to, her, to a crib, which is, she is not liking it at, at all. She's not liking it. Tell the people how mean mommy is. I'm trying to make you sleep in that crib. You don't like that, huh? She doesn't like it at all, you guys. Uh, we tried it for the first night last night, and she does not like it. But, like, she's used to, Her bassinet was beside my bed. Right beside my bed. I'm sorry, I keep looking out my window, you guys. Her bassinet was right beside my bed, and now she's not there that close to us anymore. And, like, usually at night, she would cry or whine a little bit. I just pick her up, put her in the bed with us. But we, we try not to do that anymore, and <clears throat> she's not liking it. And I am actually, we are actually about to start sleep training her because her sleep schedule was really well. Like, she would go to sleep at about 10.30, which I know is kind of late. I would prefer her to go to sleep at about um, 9, 9.30-ish. But she was going to bed at about 10.30 and she would sleep until 6, 6.30. But here lately, she has been going to sleep at about 11, waking up at about 3.34 going back to sleep at about 5 and waking back up at about 6.37. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, she, she weighs almost 14 pounds now, but she was sick for a week. She had a stomach virus that she caught from Christian, and she was horrible that week. She didn't eat, drink formula for a week. She was purely on Pedialyte, so that, uh, that she did lose weight from that, um, so I'm sure if she hadn't lost weight, she would be pretty close to 15 pounds. <clears throat> what else is there? Oh, but I asked her, I did ask her pediatrician about her weight because she's only in the 13th percentile for her weight. But he stated that she's growing fine in other areas. Her brain is growing fine. She's tall enough. But he said that she might just be a petite kid. He said that she might have just been one of those that's 120 pounds when they graduate from college. So, he told me not to be too concerned about that. He said the only reason we would need to be concerned about that is if her height and her head circumference gets off. So, not too much concerned about that. Um, what else is there? She loves having her hands in her mouth. She uh, reaches for things. As you can see, every time I put the camera on her, she starts to try to get to the phone. But she reaches for things. She grasps. She holds on to things really, really well. She um, 
her dad has her doing I don't know what the exact name but it's when you <laughs> blow on your skin he has her doing that like she does that she will crawl up to you she don't care if it's your face she lands on if it's your arm if it's your leg if it's your foot if she can get that mouth on your skin somewhere she's gonna do that and it's and she likes to spit also but she's doing really well. Like I said, everything's going great developmental wise and growth wise. She lost a little weight due to her being sick. But other than that, she's doing fine. Um, look at her hair, you guys. Her, she has the cutest curly hair. Can you hold your head down? Okay, she don't want you guys to see it. But anyways, she has the cutest curly hair. And her eyes are still grayish green. Some days they're gray. Some days they're some days they're green. I was thinking that they were going to change colors, but they're still still that color. So that might be the eye color that she's going to keep. Um, on to me. That's all for her update. On to me. I am officially starting a diet and exercise plan because it's just about that time. Now, I will be doing a mixture between this app on my phone called Workout Trainer, I think. That's what it's called. I will... Um, Look it up and leave the link below, making sure that that is the exact name of it. But I would be doing a mixture between that and Sanity. Um, and we just purchased an elliptical and, like, using dumbbells and doing some other stuff around the house. Because <clears throat> I weigh, I have, I finally peaked above my pre-pregnancy weight. I am now 189 and my pre-pregnancy weight was 186. So that is a factor into why I'm going ahead and starting now. And also because I will be wedding dress shopping soon and I need to get this body right for a wedding dress. So that's about it, you guys. I will do a belly shot, but I'm using my cell phone and I'm sitting on my bed holding her. And it's just going to be too much to get up and show you guys. But I will talk to you guys later. And I will see you guys. We will see you guys for her eight-month update. Say bye. No, don't look at me. Say bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs>